okay guys so in the previous video we had learned of how do we create a map drive and we had also verified that the map drive and the shared folder which was located on the server are both synchronized with one another so we also verified that you create a file in your map drive it also gets updated in the server you delete it from your map drive it will also get deleted from the shared folder on the server this is known as synchronization so now moving ahead what happens here is many times you will face a situation in your company wherein some employee deletes a particular file from the map drive an employee deletes a file from his map drive and once when the file is deleted from the map drive it is pretty obvious it will also get deleted from the server now what if the employee asks you to get the file back will you be able to get it back answer is maybe or maybe not why maybe because every night your company takes backup of all the data so assume if the file is present in that backup only then will you be able to bring the file back but is it so easy answer is no because that particular backup is taken in a device known as a tape drive and saved or stored in the server room so you require a lot of approvals from your seniors the data center guys and so on in order to get back the file or you may say in order to restore the deleted data this may take some minutes or some hours or even a day depending on the situation or depending on the sensitivity or criticality of the file for example if it is a very urgent file deleted by the manager it may come back in some minutes or maybe hours but if it is a normal file deleted by a normal employee it may take up to one day or maybe two days for the file to come back do you think the employee will wait for so long answer is no so is there a solution wherein you can quickly or you may say on the spot restore the file answer is yes the solution is on your screen known as shadow copies this feature is given to you by microsoft what is it shadow means duplicate shadow means replica so what do we do exactly is the drive on the server for example it is a c partition or d colon e f g any particular drive you create a shadow or you may say you configure a shadow of the entire drive two points to note over here this feature is only present in servers and not in the client operating system that means shadow to be taken only from the server not from the client number one and number two shadow to be taken of the entire drive not of individual folders that means this option is available only for drives and not for some folders so what you do is you configure shadow of the c drive or the d drive or the e drive and so on so once when the shadow is taken what happens you may call it a shadow you may also call it a snapshot now what is a snapshot snapshot means shadow means a recovery image or you may say a restoration point that means it saves all the data of that drive into something known as a shadow that means shadow is nothing but a file in which the entire data of your drive gets saved so it is a representation of your drive so now once you've configured a shadow what happens now if the employee now if the employee deletes the file from his map drive it will get deleted from the server but it won't get deleted from the shadow it would be safe in that shadow and now if the employee asks you to get the file back it is too easy it is very easy you can simply get the file back from the shadow copy without requiring 
to get approvals from your seniors and so on and so on. You can simply restore the file from the shadow. You don't even have to go to the server guy or request them. You can sit on the employee's PC from where the file got deleted. And from that particular PC, from the very own PC, you can get the file back from the shadow. So this is how shadow helps you. With the help of a shadow, you can recover deleted data or you may say you can recover lost data on the spot in an instant without requiring those approvals and such a hectic process to be followed. One point to be noted in this slide is that it is compatible with only NTFS. Now what is NTFS? So there are some file partitioning systems and Microsoft by default uses NTFS. There's also something known as GPT, which generally the Unix devices use. So your drive should be formatted in the NTFS file partitioning system. If not, shadows won't work. So shadows is supported only on NTFS drives and not on GPT drives by default. So this is an overview there are a lot more concepts about shadow copies, but it cannot be simply explained to you in a slide, but we will have to prove it practically. We will have to experience it practically. So now in the coming video, we practically see and verify and configure shadow copies. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon.